An article is marked X percent above the cost price. So this cost price marked up by X percent to take us to mark price. A discount of two thirds of X percent is given. Two by three X percent to get to selling price. If the profit is 4% of cost price, therefore there's a profit. Selling price is greater than cost price. And this profit is 4%. Right? Now if you say cost price equals CP, then selling price is 1.04 CP. We we'll make a profit of, of 4%. Now this selling price is got by going to the mark price CP into 1 plus X by 100 into 1 minus two-thirds of x by 100. Remember this discount is on mark price. This markup is on cost price. Profit is a percentage of cost price. So we are through. Cost price into 1 plus x by 100 takes us to mark price. Mark price into 1 minus two-thirds of x by 100 takes us to selling price which is nothing but 1.04 times cost price. The cost price gets cancelled on both sides. This is 100 plus x by 100. This is 1 minus x by 150. Two thirds of x is 2 by 300. 1 by 1. Equals 1.04. Or simplifying this 1.04 into 100 into 150 equals 100 plus x into 150 minus x or 104 into 150 is 100 plus x into 150 minus x we can solve this like a quadratic but i'm going to try a slightly different method 104 is 13 into 8 and 150 is 50 into 3 or 25 into 6. i want to see if we can shift these slightly differently multiply by different numbers we can write this as 52 into 300 it's 150 minus x one of the products should be in between this should be between it should be less than 150 it should be more than 100 both numbers are likely to be between 100 and 150 fine so try to find some combination that works that can fit in both of these 104 into 150 Let's see if we can, uh, we have rewritten this as 52 into 300. That obviously doesn't work. We can do 52 into 3 is 156 into 100. That doesn't work. Uh, let's try a different variant. The, the product of 13 in one of the numbers. So there is a 13 into 8 here and 25 into 6 here. So 13 into 10 is possible, 13 into 2 into 5, 13 into 10 is 130 into, what do we have remaining, 13 into 2 into 5, so 4 here and a 5 there, 4 into 5 into 6 into 120. So this is possible, this could sit here, so we could have 100 plus 30 into 150 minus 30, which is 130 into 120 or 100 plus 20 into 150 minus 30 120 into 130 so x could be 20 or 30 both of them both will work and so now the, we are told that the value of x lies between 25 and 50 so it's not this so x is 30 we want to find the value of 50 percent of x 50 percent of x is 15 expanding this as a quadratic and then finding x square minus something x or plus something x minus something and then finding the two roots that's going to be very tough that's going to be very time consuming you're looking to do 104 into 150 write that in different ways and and shoot to get the quadratic the key point here one of the numbers a multiple of 13 so you're basically looking for a multiple of 13 between 100 and 150 that's where the sweet spot is likely to be 130 works, 117 doesn't work, 143 doesn't work, 130 works, with that we are through. 130 into 120 can be formed in for, with two different values of x. Turns out only one of those works based on this condition. So x has to be 30, 50% of x is 15.